So at ArcGIS 10, we're adding a number of new features to enable it to be easier to integrate imagery with ArcGIS. This is the image analysis window. It's a new feature, provides quick and easy access for accessing a number of common image enhancement and display tools, such as contrast, brightness. It's also the platform for accessing our new on-the-fly image processing capability that Damien just mentioned. We can do orthorectification, pan sharpening, or calculate NDV on the fly. And because it's being done in memory, we're not storing it anywhere, and it's immediately available for use. NDVI stands for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. It is a commonly used technique to be able to distinguish healthy vegetation shown in green from no vegetation shown in red. We can go further in and look at some of the other new capabilities in 10 that make it easier to integrate imagery in GIS. So we're looking at the same NDVI image, but on top we have the USDA Common Land Unit, which describes the spatial extent of agricultural fields in this area. Using these two images and the underlying Landsat image, we can clearly make out the differences between the vegetated areas, the actively irrigated crop fields, versus those fields that are either barren or have already been harvested. Now, the USDA's Risk Management Agency last year managed over $80 billion in crop insurance liability. Because of that, they used GIS and remote sensing and other tools to be able to combat fraud, waste, and abuse associated with crop insurance. We could use this technique to investigate the farm in red. This is an example of a field where a farmer made a claim of, lo of lost crops that were significant. So we can use this image to identify exactly when this image was collected using the metadata, which was in August. And we can also use the new Mosaic data set. The Mosaic data set is a way to store a large collection of images and be able to access them very quickly through the geodatabase. In fact, the Landsat image that I used to calculate the NDVI was just a selection from a large mosaic data set. To access more imagery, to be able to do an analysis over the course of the growing season, we need to look at more data. So we can open the table, preview all the images in our mosaic data set or our library, look at the metadata about each image, simply select the ones we're interested in, Using the standard tools, we can just make a selection and add these to our map. So the Mosaic data set makes it very easy to search, discover, and access imagery from large collections so that we begin to do our analysis immediately. Once we have these in our table of contents, we can begin exploring how each image changes over the course of that growing season. If you look at the field outlined in red, it doesn't look like there's any crops growing over that period. We can go another step further. The Mosaic data set works with all of our other tools. So the geoprocessing model we can create to calculate an NDVI using the new iterator tools. We can go through each image that we've selected in our library, in our mosaic, use the crop, LU, uh, crop land units, intersect, and create a mean NDVI for every image. If we look at the results of that analysis and ex explore how those changes over the course of the entire growing season, we can see relative to the other crop areas, the one of interest remains flat. It remains without any vegetation. Potentially, this could be a case of fraud. Another way to look at this would be to use our graphing tools to look at the actual NDVI fraction for every crop in the field relative to those that are of interest. And we can see in this particular case that this indeed was uh, a case of fraud. And so these kinds of tools are used to help save taxpayers millions of dollars every year. And we're trying to build in tools to make the integration of imagery in GIS easier using the image analysis window, the mosaic data set, and our geoprocessing tools. But analyzing imagery is only part of the story. Managing imagery is another issue. Many of us have large, large collections of imagery. 
And the Mosaic data set is actually powered by the GeoDatabase. So it's highly scalable. What you're looking at is a Mosaic data set of over 10,000 images. Every time I roam around the image, it pans, makes a call to the database, and requeries and brings all the imagery from that spatial extent to my view. This is how the GeoDatabase works with the Mosaic data set. It only gives you the images that you need to work with. It can scale up to very large numbers of images, over a million. So we can use these tools to manage large collections, but we can also use the same geoprocessing framework to keep our library up to date and automate the process of adding new imagery to this mosaic. In this case, I'm reading in over 1,200 images, reading through all the metadata for each one of those images and adding them to my mosaic. If you couple this with our GIS server, you can serve it out as an image service, providing access to a whole host of other users simultaneously, keeping them up to date, providing the right image to the right analyst at the right time. So overall, these are some of the new capabilities that we're providing in ArcGIS 10, the image analysis window, the mosaic data set, and new capabilities in the geoprocessing framework.